I'm Kitty Gumdrop, and you're watching Kitty's channel. Bleh, my mouth sounds dry. I've only been drinking coffee today. Maybe I should have some water before I talk to you. Bleh. Hmm. Shouldn't have done that. So what I'm doing today is I realized something. I've been doing something completely wrong the entire time, and I can't believe it. I've been doing cat eyeliner this entire time because so is everybody else. Everybody's always like how to draw wings, how to do the perfect wing. But you know what they don't talk about? Well, I guess some people do. But you know what they didn't talk about for the longest time? And I live out in the middle of Midwest BFE. So like things catch up to us like 10, 20 years slower than everybody else. I'm going to be honest with you here. So being behind everybody else, I didn't realize that there were options for hooded eyes, which are what I have. My eyelid likes to sit on top of the other part of my eyelid and pick up any piece of eyeliner that I put on the top part, which makes my eyes look smaller and no. What I'm going to be doing in this video is showing you the type of eyeliner I was doing, which was wrong for my eyes, and the type of eyeliner that I've learned that I need to be doing for my eyes, which is called puppy eyeliner. Which I find kind of ironic considering I'm Kitty Gumdrop, I was doing cat eyeliner forever. So I have the rest of my makeup done. Just for the sole purpose of seeing what looks good on what side, because I'm not going to be wearing what I'm doing when I'm done for the rest of the day. You'll see why. I have here my tools that I need to do the, uh, the two types of eyeliner that I'm going to do, which is I'm going to do a cat eyeliner eye on this. No, I lied. I'm going to do a cat eyeliner eye on this eye because that's not my strong side and we're going to struggle. And the puppy eyeliner on my right hand side because this is my stronger side and I got smudging to do over here to do that one. And you'll be able to see why it looks so much better on each side. But on top of that, I've also got these glitter eyeliner sticks that I got in my boxy charm box. I got it in green, blue, and black. And we're just going to play around after I show you the two things and be like, hey, yeah, see why this is so much better for hooded eyes? And then I'm going to check these eyeliners out and maybe do some things that I wouldn't exactly wear out because why not? I'm going to be taking it off directly anyway. That's what we're doing. We're f***ing up my face with eyeliner. If you're interested in that, go ahead and stay tuned. So I got this handy dandy nifty tool literally at Walmart just in the camping section. And it's a camping mirror and look how thin this thing is. Like it is just this tiny piece of plastic with a mirror and it's so much better for makeup than anything else I've had. No, it doesn't have a handle, but realistically, if you wanted to, you could just hot glue a popsicle stick to the back and make a handle because this thing is the most lightweight thing I've ever had. And it's so much easier for doing makeup. So the first thing that I'm gonna show you that I do is the cat eyeliner that I had been doing for years. And I got hooded eyes, so like I said, and they're hooded all the way down to where they kind of do like this curvature thing at the bottom. So if you look at, I've been corrected by the way, somebody in the comments told me that I was incorrect and this is a Dana doll. That was my mistake. She had a much darker tan than the Dana that I was used to and her eyes were like a teal color. So I assumed it was just a different version of Nevra and I made a mistake and I apologize for that. Thank you for correcting me down in the comments by the way. So on this Dana doll, I'll show you, my eyes do exactly this thing where they go down and swoop up. Eh. Do you see what they do there? They go down and they swoop up because my eyes are stupid. So I'm gonna do the cat eyeliner thing, even though when I do that, it always causes this weird dip no matter how I do it. So let's check that out and you'll see what I'm talking about. I did a really thick wing to show you exactly what I'm talking about. But okay, if I'm looking straight on at you, it looks fine, right? Actually, if I do that with my eye, it looks fine because that's kind of how I drew it. But when I drop my eye to where it's normal and it's got its hooded thing going on like this, look how my eyeliner changes. Hmm. If I start to look slightly concerned at all, so does my eyeliner. The curses of having an expressive face is your makeup becomes just as expressive and then you just look comical all the time. Maybe they should stick me on SNL. Oh my god, I kicked a tripod. Holy f that's really bad. So that's cat eyeliner. There's another thing I'm going to be adding to that in a minute, but dear lord, do you see the problems? Every time I make a different facial expression and go through anything other than just staring straight ahead with my eyebrows up, not a good look for me, by the way. Now on the right hand side, we have puppy eyeliner, which I'll explain before I do it. It's really simple, actually. You just make a C shape along the outer part of the rim of your eye. And then you take, um, with eyeliner, I use liquid eyeliner simply because it stays on all day and I work 10 hour shifts. But you make a C with eyeliner 
And then you use um, just a makeup brush and you take some black eyeshadow to put it on top of it to set the eyeliner and you smudge it, you know, just around so that it like fades out onto your eye and that's called puppy eyeliner. And the good news is it doesn't conflict with the hood of your eye and you can make it, ooh, yeah. So now I'm gonna demonstrate the puppy eyeliner for you on this eye. The best part is I don't really worry about doing this too messy because you're putting eyeshadow on top of it directly after, so you're gonna be smudging it. Hello? You're gonna be putting eyeshadow on top of it directly afterwards, so you're gonna be smudging it anyway. So if it's a little bit messy, it's not that big a deal, which I prefer because if you make a mistake with wing eyeliner, it's like, what are my options? Redo my makeup or make it bigger. And if you have hooded eyes, bigger's not better. Does my voice sound better? I mean, no, it doesn't sound better. It still sounds like I've been sick. But, does it sound better having drank water? Do I still sound cotton-mouthed? I'm using Black Rainbow in the Jeffree Star's Beauty Killer palette because, and I'm gonna flip it around so you're not blinded by the mirror, it has little rainbow glitter flecks in it, and I'm hoping that the rainbow glitter flecks will show up. If they don't, oh well, if they do, meet. I got tiny little rainbows to show up, but this is essentially what you get when you have puppy eyeliner which is where you have that C shape, you smudge it out, and then you see the difference. I can make faces with this. Mm, mm, mm. But no, seriously, do you see the difference? How this one keeps my eye kind of open and awake looking, and this one kind of makes my eye look droopy because my eye is not shaped that way. It's shaped like an almond that kind of has a saggy butt. That's my, that's my new eye shape, saggy butt almond. So there was one other thing I wanted to show you about cat eyeliner, or just eyeliner in general, that I really can't do at all. And that's just put it across my entire top lid. I've seen people make the most beautiful wings and the most beautiful eyeliner, and they just put it across their lid, and it goes straight across and looks so pretty when they open their eyes. And when I do it, again, we got saggy butt almond over here with its like, do. So let's doodle that mess on the other side of the eye, and you can see exactly what I mean by that. Oh boy. I think that eyeliner's about dead. It's leaving clumpy messes everywhere and it's not going well. Oh no, I looked down. Oh, I was so worried. Half the time when I put eyeliner on and I look down, or at least when I do it on my upper lid, I'll look up like that and then I'll feel wet and then I'll have it right up here. Hooded eyes. But do you see how when I look straight forward with black eyeliner on my upper lid, it makes my eye look really small and really closed and you can't see my eyelid at all? Well, imagine working really hard on doing a perfect eyeshadow look and you were taking all this time and blending like two hours on it. You really wanted to do something nice and special and then you decide to put this black band, a thin one at that. It's not even thick. I put this thin one on it at that and it's ruined because you can't see it. Everything disappears under this hood as it is. It's terrible. So this is a godsend for somebody with eyes like me and this is a mess, this is a mistake. This is a problem. This should be corrected if you have hooded eyes. Because look, look, I made a face and now it's just a black eye. To wrap this up, let's have a little bit of fun with my eyes because I'm gonna go take this makeup off after anyways. I'm gonna try these glitter gel eye pins by Hot Mess. That's appropriate. And we're gonna try these out and do some like, I don't even know, bold, ooh, it screws up. Do some bold nonsense on this puppy eyeliner, huh? Oh no. I'm left with no choice but to go bold. We have to go thicker. Oh no. Oh, it's so thick. I've raccooned. Ah! Well, go big or go home. That became a disaster very fast. Ooh. Let's do it to the other side, but with the green. Okay, so I got the green one now, and we're gonna do just as bad a job on the other side. We kind of just did a better job as eyeliner over there in general. Let's try the bottom lash and I'm gonna do it in one fell swoop because it seems like that's going a lot better for me than this dit, 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 dit method. Yeah, let's do a solid line instead of a dotted line. See how that goes for us. We skipped. Okay, so the trick to these pins, if you want fine lines is go fast, go real fast. Or a better trick to using the pins would probably be taking like a small brush like this and dipping it in there and getting exactly the eyeliner you wanted and then setting it with some kind of eyeshadow. But this is what I did. I don't know which side, okay, imagine that this isn't covered in mess. 
But which side do you like better? Do you like puppy eyeliner better? Or do you like winged eyeliner better? Or do you like what I did with this glitter side better? Or do you like this side better? I don't know, I'm gonna leave it up to you in the comments below if you think wings look better on me or if you think puppy eyeliner looks better on me. Because I personally think I have have this I have this whole new innovation, I have this whole new outlook on eyeliner, and I'm excited about it again instead of like, oh god, oh god, oh god, what's that? What's going on with my face? So if you liked that video, go ahead and hit that like down below. Comment your preference on the eyeliners. I really do want to know your opinions, because like I said, I'm partial to the puppy eyeliner, which just feels so wrong to say considering my name. I am not a puppy. I don't do woof. I will see you guys next time. I make videos every single Monday. Bye!